It's Thursday, so let's see. A new restaurant in the upstate combines authentic Italian food with a relaxed fine dining experience. 7 News' is Christine Scarpelli joins us live hey. in Anderson at the Good Common morning. House. Good morning. What do we got? Yes. Are we um, piquing your interest at all? Take a look oh, yeah. into pasta. Really any kind of gluten this morning, you're gonna find it right here at the Common House in Anderson. Hey, listen guys, this is worth your trip. A fantastic coffee break, a little breakfast maybe, transition into an elevated dinner. Adam's gonna tell us all about it and how he makes his own cheese. That was photographer's Kevin's favorite thing this morning. But first, take a look at what else is on the menu. Okay, it's my favorite new dining destination. We're here in Anderson from breakfast to dinner, baked goods and a cute cozy coffee house with lattes into dinner with homemade pasta. Makes sense since the owner Adam's family is from Italy. We'll show you much more at the Common House in Anderson. She is one of the most phenomenal chefs, the best Italian food I've ever had. We spent a lot of time in Italy and she's unbelievable. She's the real deal, like old world Italian chef. Gotta love the relationship between owner Adam Helfer and his nonna. After all, it's what inspired this former real estate investor and his wife to stay here in the South in Anderson. I really just realized like I wanna do something tangible. I wanna kinda carry on what she did and so just decided to open a restaurant. It's dishes like the scratch made ravioli that now bring people to see him. Which is just a very fine flour, eggs. We're gonna put a little bit of olive oil in there. I like flip it over, push it in with my palm, push it in. After a little rest, it's time for ricotta. It's all imported, our olive oil is imported. Pecorino is gonna introduce a lot of like the saltiness. The dough is rolled out thick enough to taste, but not too chewy, and sous chef Jessica Mulcahy assists with the fill and seal. The marinara sauce is also made here in kitchen. Throw in some tomatoes. These are pomodorini, these are imported from Italy. So we're gonna throw in few ravioli, so they're gonna go straight into the sauce. No doubt, this was my favorite dish. It was so fresh, but the gnocchi was a close second. To prepare the potatoes. Three egg yolks, some zero zero flour on top. So we got our dough, super airy, fluffy, cut strips, roll them over. The brown butter sauce, it is salty and smooth. We're looking for rich, nutty, flavorful brown butter. And to give it almost like a little bit of a sear and texture on the outside. And then we're just gonna get some of those San Marzano tomatoes. And don't say I didn't tell you about this savory whipped ricotta app. So we're gonna take ricotta, which does have a level of sweetness already. Do a little bit of olive oil. And then we're gonna take rosemary right here, some chives. So get some like the bite from the onion. So we've got like a really herby breadcrumb. Just don't spoil your dinner. From daytime to date night, homemade pasta that you feel like you're at home eating. I think we made your nonna proud. Absolutely, nonna Gaetana Ambrosino. We thank you for the <laughs> recipes from the Common House in Anderson. We say, salute. salute. Cheers. Oh, very good. Oh, okay. We give a shout out to Nona Gaetano and Brazino. That's it. Is that yeah, correct? Yeah, yeah. Adam smiling for us, bright and early owner of the Common House. The Common House, why'd you choose the name? So we're all about this idea of the commoner, and especially with Italian cuisine, you know, we try to do a very elevated, a phenomenal product. Everything's very fresh, but it's for the commoner. So it's not pretentious. Approachable. It's approachable. Mm -hmm. It's just Italian food. Speaking of, uh, Italians, we make things with our hands, mm -hmm. correct? We've got some pasta in front of us. Yeah, absolutely. Is this from here? Yeah, this is all, you know, we make all of our pasta handmade. There's nothing that we buy. Um, so we've just got a few things that we've got on the menu right now. Handmade, mm -hmm. the mozzarella. Tell yeah. us about that. Yeah, I mean, even like we make fresh mozzarella for service every day. Yeah. We do it, we really finish it about an hour before service. When you get here, it's incredibly <sighs> fresh. Um, it's one of the things that we have on the menu that takes a lot of time, but it's worth it. Adam, your family's like off the boat. Yeah. Like yeah, you were, yeah. you said you were stomping on grapes as a kid. Yeah, I mean, so they immigrated to Canada. They moved back. My mom grew up in, or she spent you know, a lot of her childhood in Italy. Um, and then just visiting, you know, their, their home in Toronto and then Italy. It's just all the customs are still there. So they're making wine every year, obviously pasta. All the good stuff. Liv, I feel like this could be the kind of place we show up for coffee in the morning and stay until after dinner. Uh, thoughts? I think we've got several courses on the table. What looks good to you, girl? 
A couple of commoners like ourselves mm -hmm. absolutely have a place at the table <laughs> at the common house. Everything looks delicious. I love the gnocchi. It looks amazing. But same with the uh, ricotta dip as well. Pack some up, send it home. 7 News will be right back. But first, we'll head over to Fred. Thanks, Christine. This is a live look over downtown Greenville.